Welcome to Extra Extra, presented by VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. No filter. Very censored. You can follow Extra Extra on Twitter at Extra Extra V. D G. Be sure to follow Extra Extra on Twitter at Extra Extra V D G. Check out the website as well. That is extra extra dot VDG Sports dot com. Once again, extra extra dot VDG Sports dot com. There's a YouTube as well. Like, subscribe, share, or do whatever it is you do there. Comment if you may, comment if you must. This episode is not being sponsored by VinceDouglasGregory.com. VinceDouglasGregory.com is where you can keep up with me, my whereabouts, my well-being, everything in between. Basically, all things Vince, where I'm at, where I'm not at, where I'm being, where I'm not being. But lately, it's where I've been not. And yes, I meant to say that. Noobs, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you for giving me an opportunity. Regs, we back at it again. We back at it again. It feels like every day, but it's not every day. We have this unique, special bond that we share. We have no name for it. We have no name for it. Yes, I'm still working out the bugs. It works today. Who knows? It may not work tomorrow. It may work the next day. It may not work tomorrow or the day after or the day after or the day after. And this is what happens when you software update or upgrade. Hey, you pick, you choose. I'm just the narrator. This is your adventure. I do know where I want to go, though. I do know where I want to go. And I think enough time has passed by for me to just go ahead and let the chips fall where they may. I'm sure I'm confident that I haven't shared this just yet, but if I have, uh, you're welcome. If I haven't, you're welcome. Either way, you're welcome. Now, here's the thing. I know my custom service journey. I've come a long, long long way and this is definitely not a customer service kind of thing but it somewhat is but it's not it can be i can morph it and turn it into that depending on how the flow goes depending on how i feel depending on how much i get out and how i get it out and how i'm able to describe it clearly hopefully nowadays it's easy to order food online and possibly go pick it up, order food online and possibly go pick it up. I've never, until this incident, I've never had a problem with ordering something and going to pick it up and it just be there waiting and it uh, there's no issues and there's no problem. But lo and behold, it happened. Lo and behold, it happened. And no, I'm not going to call the company out. And if you want to know the company, if you don't want if you want to know the establishment, I'd suggest you reach out and touch me uh, virtually or uh, on the interweb somewhere. I'll tell you and then you can spread the wealth or spread the goodness. But I'm not going to do that because I'm trying to protect the guilty in this sense. I'm trying to protect the guilty in this sense. But hey. Who knows how I might feel a year from now or a year after that or a decade after that or a century after that. It may come out. It may come out. Okay, so I ordered some food and I was going to go pick up the food. I gave it enough time. Enough time passed by. That wasn't the issue. It's just that the line was super, super long and I waited. 
upon waited upon waited and you know how i feel about waiting this whole a personality this whole me not having patience and regs you know this noobs you may not this is one of the reasons that i can't teach or become a teacher or become somebody who educates others because i just don't have the patience to do that i can help i can tell i can show but to go into the extreme detail that I would need to, to help mold a mind, whether it's young or old, it doesn't matter. That patience, I just don't have. I throw my hands up. I admit it. I'm not perfect. There's some things I can and can't do. That's one of the things that I cannot do. You go back and check the historical documents on that one too. It's uh, it's there. This is not, this is not new, but regs, you knew this noobs. Now, you know, you, you, you're caught up. And the waiting got to me. The waiting got to me because it was hot. It was hot. I just wanted to eat. I just wanted my food. I thought I was going to be in, out, quick, wham, bam, in, out, quick. That, that wasn't the case. And when I get up to being next and I repeat my order to pick up my order in my uh, name, I said my name. And for whatever reason, for whatever reason, the person said something else. And I was like, no, that's not my name. And the person said, all you had to say was your name. Then and there, I knew this was going to be one of them days. Then and there, I knew this is going to be one of them days. And I know this sounds like a, a, a previous incident, but no, this is, this is another one. There were, there were two. There were definitely two. There were definitely two. And I was like, all right, cool. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. All right. So I said my name. I, I was able to look over that because it happened before personal growth, personal growth. It happened before I've said, no, maybe I just have to look deep, deep, deep within myself and just not answer the question because answering the question or correcting the person who needs to know the answer. Apparently that is frowned upon in some written rule book, in some unwritten rule book that is frowned upon. Therefore, I'm just going to have to make an adjustment on that. I throw my hands up. I'm cool. I'm okay with that. I'll make the adjustment. So next time, I'll just say my name, say my name. And if it's not my name, just say my, just keep saying my name. Because saying no or anything else, that just doesn't work because it's happened twice now. It happened twice and I'm not going for a third time. I'm not going for the trifecta. I am not going for the trifecta. Then a person came back and said, uh, there's something with your order. Okay. There's something with my order. My mind immediately go to chaos. My mind immediately go to worst case scenario. My mind immediately go that direction because my intuition and my gut feeling, and I just had this feeling down deep in my tummy, in my stomach, that something just wasn't sitting right. And my mind picked up the cues. My mind picked up the cues and started doing his calculations. And then when it came to the equal sign, it was a zero. When it came to the equal sign, it was a Z. Roll. And with that being a zero, with that being a zero, that basically meant I didn't have an order. I did not have an order. Whatever I ordered, they ran out. So instead of contacting me or instead of reaching out to touch, instead of taking the extra step to let me know that my order is kaput. My order, not canceled, but unavailable. Can't happen. Uh-uh. None of that. I've been sitting. I've been waiting. 
for at least a good 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm doing the 10 or 15 minutes because I want to be nice. I'm doing the 10 or 15 minutes because I still would like to protect the guilty in the game, but it was probably closer to the 20 to 25. If I'm going to be frank, if I'm going to be frank with you, it was closer to 20 to 25, but since I'm a person who protect the guilty in the game, when it comes to things and issues and stuff like this, I'm just going to go ahead and say 10 to 15. I'm going to go ahead and say 10 to 15 minutes. I waited upon waited upon waited. Then I have to deal with how to answer the question of what's my name or that's not my name or the correction portion of it. I, I messed up on that as well. So I'm, uh, I'm just using this as something that I should know what to do if I'm put in this position again and I'm not calling it a learning experience. I'm just going to call it a go with the flow kind of moment. A go with the flow kind of moment that I've already flowed down this path a couple times. Next time, I should be able to just woo, just swim my way through. And I just like how it just mixed all kinds of, uh, not even metaphors, but just mix all kinds of stuff together. Just seeing what stick. And if it's stuck, hey, whatever, whatever. Now I'm like, okay, what about, uh, what about a refund? What about a refund? And that was just, that was just me somewhat thinking outside the box. Or that was just me having that feeling. And I had that feeling and my mind just went ahead and just splurted out some stuff. I had a feeling of what I needed to do, but my mind wanted to make sure I had a feeling what I need to do because intuition and gut feeling never lead me wrong. It's always there. It's always 100%. But my mind wanted to be sure. My mind wanted to be sure. So it just spurted out some stuff like, what about the refund? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know why my mind decided to do that. I'm definitely not going to say my mind was playing tricks on me because it was not. My mind was not playing tricks on me, but what my mind was doing, it was setting me, it was setting me up for something. It was setting me up for something. I'm not going to say failure, but it was definitely setting me up for something that I did not want to continuously be in. I just wanted to go. I just wanted to leave. Everything that took place and everything that happened afterwards was like a little bit extra. It was a little bit extra, extra, mind you, without the E2, without the E2. Yeah, the person said, um, that's not what we do here. You got this. You created and made this order uh, online or uh, via the app or what have you. That's where you're going to get your refund. That's where you're going to uh, do that. We don't do that here. And I'm just cleaning up the verbiage. I'm just cleaning up the verbiage so you can understand what was uh, spoken and, and, and basically get the gist of what was said to me. It wasn't word for word, but that was the gist of what was said back to me. And at this point, my intuition, my gut feeling was like, it's just time to go. It's just time to bounce. There's nothing else. There's nothing else that can happen or take place here but bad, bad stuff. Bad, bad encounters. Bad, bad things. And my personal growth has led me down a path where it's not necessarily the path of least resistance. It's the path of being able to think levels upon levels outside of my uh, common thought process, outside of me just thinking 
how I'm thinking and maybe that person and just leaving it alone. No, this was able for me to think how I was thinking, how that was person was thinking, how they were thinking about my thinking and how my thinking was on their thinking. It was just different levels to it. I came to that conclusion that, okay, I got it. I get it. I understand. This, this encounter is over with. This situation is over with. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to throw a fit. I'm not going to pout. I'm not going to scream and shout. And I'm not going to do the hokey pokey either. Mm -mm. What I am going to do is I'm going to take your advice. I'm going to go back to the app, back online or what have you. And I'm going to ask for a refund. And when I ask for a refund, I'm going to give the reason why. Because they didn't have my order provided. My order wasn't ready. And when they asked for feedback, I'm going to be honest. When they asked for feedback, I'm going to be honest. There's no need for me to continue to waste my time, continue to waste your time, to continue to just make a bad situation worse. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. That was five years ago. That was three years ago. That was two years ago. This year, this time, uh-uh. I'm just going to, okay, thank you. I'm out. But I didn't say I was out. I just said thank you and proceeded on to doing what I have to do when I made it back home. As far as with the, the, the app and far as with the online thing. And then when that feedback situation came. When that feedback situation came, you best and you better believe that I, I went back and I told the story just like I told it now, but I didn't leave out any detail. And you know me, and that's the you know, ha ha, not the you know, he he. I wrote down every detail for the time that I was there, for the time that the encounter was over, for everything that happened. And I used that her, well, I actually used her, which my uh, person that was attending me, her actual words. I I didn't uh, give the gist of it. I actually used the words in the feedback and that was it. I got my money back. I uh, rated my, uh, I I rated my uh, experience. I gave a review. I did Everything that I learned to do when it comes with dealing with food, dealing with customer service, dealing with bad service, period. There's no point of the back and forth, the back and forth, the back and forth. Although, don't get me wrong, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But that time, it was just time for me to just hit the deuces, bounce, go and write a review, a summary, a synopsis of everything that took place and everything that happened. Personal growth. (laughs) 